What's up, Billionaire Squad? It's your girl, Dada the B, and I'm back with another video. And tonight, we just finna do a little table talk. And honey, I'm sitting in my nice jacuzzi tub because I got to be crazy. I got to be crazy to hear and see some of the things that I've been seeing and hearing, okay? So let's get right on into the video. Now, just a little disclaimer. I don't at all want it to be as if I have a problem with women who are on Section 8 or that I have a problem with women who are still living with their parents and stuff like that because I don't at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you're in a situation like that, that you should cherish that situation and that you should use that time to fully develop yourself, that you should use that time as a stepping stone and that you should really take advantage of that time. However, I do want to just make some things known because we have women that are living off of like $25, $50, $200 rent comparing and competing with women who actually pay real bills, okay? Now, for you for you all who have no idea what the average rent is at this time, I would say the average rent right now is about $2,000 at the least, depending where you stay, what type of area you like to stay in, what type of environment you like to be in, certain things like that. So, for a woman who's living on government assistance, to ever compare herself to a woman who has to probably work crazy or really put their mind to work however they get it done they're paying two thousand dollars worth of rent they probably taking care of kids you know they got car insurance they have you know savings and stuff like that now these women have different saving habits these women have different interests these women have different um, living habits, just things that they do are more on a conscious scale because we are not wasteful. We don't just throw away our money. We don't um, allow men to live off of us. We don't splurge and like just spend our money on frivolous things that are not, um, you know, responsible. So basically we are more financially responsible because we understand that if we don't take care of certain things and move accordingly, that it affects our entire household okay unlike someone who might not have as much responsibility you know they spend their money on crazy stuff they might wake up the next morning don't even know exactly what they spent it on um a lot of them are not even like we're not even gonna get on spending the time with the kids and putting their kids first we're not even gonna get on that we're just gonna say a lot of them who are on government assistance, they spend their money on frivolous things simply because they know that they have something or someone to fall back on. We don't live the same type of lives. So you cannot compare yourself to a woman who has real responsibilities, okay? And not that your responsibilities are not real, but you you live in at the, your expenses are really doable. I'll say that. $50 rent, $25 rent, $200 rent, that's doable. You know what I'm saying? And a woman that might be paying $2,000 worth of rent and like, you know, really living like in the in the middle class means like we our lives are completely different. Okay, please understand that I have taken losses on more than some of you have ever even had. So it's like, it's different. Like, a two-family flat house. You you probably never even had one of those or owned one of those, but that is something that I gave to someone else to just live in. You know what I'm saying? Like, just certain things, it's like my life is different. I bet big, so I win big. I pray big, so I'm blessed big. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different type of lifestyle, and I'm not saying that the Lord can't do the same thing for you, but what I'm saying is you have to understand where you are, and you have to stop trying to compete with women who are on 
something else. We own business, we own finances, we own credit, we own retirement funds, we are on trust, we are on life insurance. It's like we are on something else when you are still probably partying and taking, you know what, Lord? I don't want to talk about what you might do to make your $200 rent or your $50 rent. But what I'm saying is just understand the facts of things. Like, don't don't worry about why a woman who is paying real bills is not spending $500 on a lace front wig that's glued to her edges. Okay? Like, don't worry about how come my nails is not done all the time because I get... I get in real work, okay? I take care of real big girl bills and I handle big girl problems. So with that being said, we need the women who are still, you know, um, you have someone to fall back on. You have, you know, somebody picking up your slack. Women who don't have government assistance, we don't have people picking up our slack. We have to pick up our own slack or we're gonna fall on our behinds, okay? And I can't cuss on my channel. But yeah, just cut us a little slack. We don't we don't keep up with the Joneses. We just we handle responsibility. We keep it simple. We keep it cute. Okay. So we live in two totally different lives. So like my advice to anybody is just to keep your eyes on your own plate. Because when you're looking at somebody else's plate, you just might miss something. You gotta you gotta keep your eyes on your own plate. So you can focus and you can continue to make yourself better. Stop always looking outside of yourself to see what the next woman is doing. That's by far very disgusting, to be honest. So, ladies, let's keep it cute. If you if you like Section 8 government assistance, still living with mom, please just stop trying to compete with women who are really big stepping. Okay, and a lot of anything that I have ever done or anything that I ever have is by the grace of God. All glory is to the Lord. None of the glory is to me, but I do apply myself. But we're not in the same category. We're not running the same race. And we just need that to be understood. And y'all need to give us a little bit more respect. And y'all also need to focus on yourselves. You, you become insecure when you are looking outside of yourself to worry about what somebody else is doing. Spend your time worrying about yourself, loving yourself, bettering yourself. And you will be a lot more happy with life and you won't feel like you have to keep up all the time and validate yourself all the time and, and tell everybody what you're doing and try to compete with people who ain't even thinking about you. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope y'all enjoyed the table talk. I love you guys. And thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Because I got a video for y'all. Let's get it on game.